have my father Larry. He uh, he is a he is a sportsman, as you call them. And uh, I was I was just driving up here with my friend Graham from uh, Victoria, which is this um, whole other place. And uh, um, I thought, oh man, I'm I'm racing. I'm driving up here really fast, but I need to do one more thing. So I decided to call my dad Larry. And so uh, I called my dad Larry up on the telephone. I had it cl plugged into like the speaker phone in my van. Um, and I called up my dad, Larry. He's a farmer in Alberta. And I called him. I said, hey, uh, hey, Larry, how's it going today? I'm just wondering if you're watching the 200-meter the race with the Canadian guy in it. Just want to see what you're up to. And he's like, oh, yeah, Mike, I watch all the Olympics, you know. I was also doing a lot of other things today. I was shipping some grain um, out of my grain bin, some wheat and some barley. It was really good prices. $8 for the wheat. Uh, seven fifty for the barley, good prices. You know, it's been a dry summer. There's no grass around the bins. I can get the auger in there, no problem. Your mom made me three eggs for breakfast, just the way I like them. And I was like, Larry, 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 shh, 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 shh. Larry, shh. And so I call my dad, Larry, down. I said, um, Larry, I have something. I have something super important to tell you. Um, and uh, what I need to know is, um, what did uh, what did the fish say um, when it when it hit a wall? Damn. And then I pressed the little red button on my iPhone, and I hung up on my dad. And I was like, yes, this is going perfectly. And so then I'm, I see a sign for Langford, and I, and I drove by. And I can see the snapshot of my dad, Larry, kind of in, uh, in my head. And he, like, he triple takes the telephone and kind of in the farmhouse I grew up on. It's still attached to the wall. Um, triple takes that phone. He realizes we're disconnected finally. And then he goes over to the fridge where my mother, Helen, where she keeps the phone numbers. And so he goes over to this fridge, and Helen has this kind of 11 and a half, or, or 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It's cut in two, so it's 22 inches long on the side of the fridge. He goes three quarters of the way down the list to, to his son Mike's number, and he goes 250-507-2877. He punches my number in, and he calls me back up, and he's like, oh, Mike, uh, we must have got caught off there, but uh, I'm just watching some Olympics. 200 meters is on soon. Our Canadian guy's in it. I um, don't know if I told you already, um, but I also shipped some grain today, you know, the wheat and the barley. The wheat's a good price, $8. Barley, seven fifty. No grass around the bins. Get the auger in there. Your mom cooked me three eggs for breakfast just the way I like them. And I was like, Larry, 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 shh, 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 shh. So I calmed Larry down a second time. I said, Dad, I don't know if you heard, um, don't know if you heard the first time, um, but I have something super important to tell you. And what I need to know is, um, is what do you call... Um, what do you call a sleepwalking nun? A Roman Catholic. And then I hit that red button on my iPhone again and hung up, hung up on my dad a second time. And I was like, yes! And so Gray and I are driving up here. Then we see some signs for like Goldstream Park and we keep on going. And so what does my dad do? Triple takes the phone, right? Goes over to the fridge where Helen keeps the numbers three quarters way down the list. He goes 250-507-2877. He calls me back up. He says, hey, Mike. He says, uh, what's the meaning of this? Um, the Olympics is on downstairs. I need to get back to it. So let's get down to business. And you see my dad, he, uh, um, he's a farmer, um, and he loves to say, let's get down to business. Um, but he doesn't realize that, there, that a farmer and a businessman are complete opposites. Um, but he still says, let's get down to business anyhow. So Larry says, let's get down to business. And I said, Dad, I'm, just, I'm driving up to, to the fine um, village um, of, of uh, Cobble Hill. Is it, is, are we in a village here or town? Village. village? I like villages. They're more, they, they make me feel better because I grew up near a village. So I'm driving up to the fine village of Cobble Hill and I just needed to know, Dad, um, I'm very late also, but what I needed to know is what is, um, what is your favorite joke? I just need to ease the pain of um, being late. And I'm probably going to tell the fine people of the Cobble Hill village what your favorite joke is. So my dad, he pauses there for like, uh, for like 45 seconds. And like I said, he's a sportsman, right? He's watching the Olympics. And so this is the point of the story, guys. It's what my dad Larry's favorite joke is. And so Larry says to me, he said, uh, Mike, what, is, uh, what does the uh, Titanic and uh, the Vancouver Canucks have in common? He says, they both sink when they hit the ice. And then he hangs the phone up on me. Give it up for my dad, Larry, everybody. He's a swell guy. I'm glad you guys got to meet Larry. I'm going to play another song for you guys. It's called, uh, um, it's called uh, Miles, and it's about kind of driving this number one highway. 
um, from Victoria um, off the island and um, driving it uh, all the way out to near Calgary where, uh, where my family's from, where my dad lives um, on his farm. And so uh, this is called Miles and it's about driving the number one highway. So here it is for you guys. I put on my 